Welcome to What Do You Love? I'm Josh Jackson from Pace Magazine. My guest today is Jermaine Clement. Welcome, Jermaine. That's correct. Hi. So, um, uh, you're going to talk a little bit today about one of the things that you love, one of the things that's inspired you, the young ones. Uh, yeah. And when I first got the question, what do you love, what, what's your favorite thing, it's yeah. such a broad question. It is but a I kept thinking question. of um, the young ones as one of my first, one of my early favorite things as a TV show. Uh-huh. And, um, I think there's, th- I think three TV shows that influenced me a lot growing up, and made me want to do something in that kind of profession. Black Adder. Uh huh. It's Gary Shandling's show. Yeah. And the young ones. Yeah, and and three shows that really did something that that was unique at the time. I mean, yeah. every one of those just felt like, when the young ones came on, there was nothing like that on television. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, I hadn't seen anything. Um, no, there wasn't anything. For one, just even the, the characters. They still haven't, there hasn't been anything like yeah, that. Yeah, there like really that. has not. Yeah. Um, the, but those characters at the, at the time, to see these these anarchists, these punks living together um, mm. in, a, in a sitcom. And um, a hippie, course, and a cool guy. And a cool guy, yeah. <laughs> of course, and a cool guy. Um, it was also a very musical show. Yeah, they have, they have bands, often you know, ska bands or people in the in the London scene. Uh huh. So did did seeing that? Did did you ever think that's something I could do one day? Is TV? Yes, I think I did think that. Yeah, but I don't know how realistic that was as a ten year old child. But uh, <laughs> I went back to it, you know, because I at, at school people tend to tell you things like work in computers, which I assumed I would be doing. And, uh-huh. and um, But I guess uh, went back to the idea of what I wanted to do. When, when did you make that switch where you were uh, going to be working in computers or doing something right, like that I, to um, actually following? You know, I, I, I used to think about it a lot, uh, how I thought... I, I, I used to enjoy computers, and now I, I don't. Um, and I kind of had a <laughs> break from the between high school and what you call college, university. Yeah. Um, and I would just often think like uh, about many jobs, a computer will be able to do this, mm-hmm. you know. And and uh, I always think that a computer won't be able to tell a joke or yeah. you know make a make a song that that means something. And I mean they're trying, mm-hmm. but they still haven't done uh, done that. Well, since since that time, you've you've had a variety of projects. You've you've been in movies. You've um, had your, uh, of course, the the HBO uh, TV show, mm-hmm. which grew out of your musical partnership, uh, Flight of the Concords. Yeah, we just uh, we just did a special that was on last, last night, night. As to yeah. when we recorded this, right, yes, I don't know yes. when people were watching. Yeah, um, or if you're watching this in five years' time, five years ago. Five years ago, it, it aired in HBO. Um, but uh, tell me a little bit about creating what we do in the shadows and, and your, your work with uh, Taika Waititi over the years. Uh, Taika and I used to also do a um, comedy duo. So mm-hmm. Brett and I would have our comedy duo, uh-huh. and Taika and I would have our comedy duo, which was called Humor Beasts. Mm-hmm. And um, we would do sketches and plays. Um, one, one of our shows was three you know three short plays and one was sketches and one was a one play that, uh, and then we were in other shows other people's shows and then Brett Tiger and I were all in a show together um, so we all worked with lots of lots of people around then uh, and you know we would we would do this very specific kind of comedy yeah. and uh, sometimes a couple of times we played vampires one was in a in a um, a night like a uh, comedy club mm-hmm. kind of night where I think uh, we could, we were just talking about it in our panel we can't remember who did what but I think I was a vampire getting up telling a joke and then he stands up in the audience also dressed completely as a vampire and starts heckling me yeah. and it's this heckler that's followed me for hundreds of years like he was <laughs> he was in Venice and he was in Berlin and all these places that we hadn't actually been to in real life, but um, he'd, you know, like always heckle me over the centuries. And uh, 
then we thought, well, we should make a movie about those guys living to, with each other. And um, another New Zealand comedy duo who was a big influence on us was this duo called Sugar and Spice. And De Deacon Braff, the guy who played the third vampire living with us, was, a, was in that group. So we asked him to um, do it with us. Mm -hmm. And now, so so we've had the movie. We've now had two TV spinoffs mm, um, yeah. with the Wellington Paranormal, yeah. and and uh, next year we're going to see uh, what we do in the shadows. Uh, yeah, I call show. it what we do in the shadows, USA. USA, so okay. differentiate it. Uh, but I don't know if anyone else will call, we'll call it that. Uh, so um, taking these characters and and just having them uh, the, and this whole concept and having it just grow and grow. Um, what what is it about uh, being able to do it on TV as opposed to the the you know one uh, self contained movie that uh, that you're enjoying? Uh, well, you spend more time with the characters, mm -hmm. uh, and in this show we're going for some long arc, long story arc, so over over a matter of, month, of months, and some short with just last one episode, which might be one night. Mm -hmm. um, and that's quite a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. you know. And um, you, you know, in, in the movie, you you obviously were one of the main characters. Um, how how do you like being a little bit more behind the camera? Behind I'm really the enjoying scenes? it. In the um, what was the challenge for Tuck and I? We co-directed the movie and co-wrote it. And in this, the TV show, and at least in the first episode and a few other episodes. Uh, I did the writing and he, and Taika did the directing, um, and s completely other people did the acting. Mm -hmm. uh, different characters, not the same characters uh, as in the movie. And um, for a start, we can tell if it's working. You only <laughs> you, you can feel like things are funny, but you can't really be sure when you're in it. Yeah, you know, you can't tell what it looks like. For instance, you can just feel you can feel a mood or you'll feel like you're going to laugh and that's usually a good sign but uh, being able to watch on the monitor we know instantly you know if it's if the scenes worked mm -hmm. in the movie we we wouldn't know for months until yeah. we, you know we were editing. if it's if, it, if those beats are hitting yeah, yeah. and then even then because the movie was completely improvised mm -hmm. around a structure this the tv show is scripted mm -hmm. um so we might do a scene and it might last 20 minutes and yeah. it's going to be two minutes in the movie yeah. and we'll edit it down. So um, we've got to find the parts. Yeah. You know, we've got to find the parts that work. In this, you work on the script and hopefully it all works. Well, the first time I interviewed you it was years and years ago for Eagle vs. Shark. So indie, indie film movie and then you had the comedy duo and then all of a sudden you're, you're a Disney character. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> What uh, what what do you most love doing? You've you've had such a variety of, of things. What, uh, what they all gets they all have different things. So mm -hmm. if it's um, cycling through is my favorite. Yeah. You know, just to like right now I'm just just writing, uh -huh. and then I'll direct some of the episodes of the show. But um, I'm looking forward to acting now. Yeah. And when I was, you know, I had a I, I did a year where I mostly did acting the year before, mm -hmm. um, writing these things, and I missed writing so. Now I'm doing that and getting that, uh, getting some of that done. That's great. So they have a different kind of satisfaction. Acting's fun, but you can't. Yeah. You know, I just do comedies, but you just you can't just have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to sit down <laughs> yeah. and do some work. I don't know. It's a different kind of, different kind of satisfaction. Even though it's many of the same mm -hmm. skills, or you know, you, you're doing the same thing uh, in a way. You're you, you're telling a story, but. Um, it, the focus is different. Mm -hmm. I, I like sort of, I, I like hanging out with people, and you yeah. know, acting's very social. Yeah, you know, it's working with other people, and then writing's very antisocial. I, I enjoy both, and each gives me a break from the other one. Well, the last thing I want to ask you about is another one of my favorite television shows right now is Legion. Oh right, yeah. And uh, can you talk a little bit about what what it's been like to be part of that project and and yeah. your character there? Um, originally, I had auditioned for Noah Hawley for. Um, for Fargo, Fargo, yeah, mm -hmm. and it was one of the worst auditions I've ever done. Mm -hmm. I, I, I hope it never surfaces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, so I thought I'd never see him again, and I thought, I thought, um, well, how can this compare to the movie? Yeah. You know, it was such a great movie, and you're yeah. going to make a TV show. Yeah. And, you know, 
uh, it's never going to be as good. And I was blown away by the TV show, and I love it. And it's probably one of my favorite ever shows. Mm-hmm. Definitely my favorite drama. Mm-hmm. Um, Game of Thrones is up there too. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, uh, and so when I first hit, I was first I was surprised to hear from him again because he was in the audition. Yeah, my awful audition for Billy Bob Thornton's character in Fargo. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that's. Uh, I was I was curious who you were going to yeah, play yeah. there. Uh, yeah, well, he was amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love you as an actor, but I think Billy Bob yeah. kind of nailed that he's role. He's got a good. He's, he's <laughs> menacing in a way there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and I didn't even know what what Legion was. I just mm-hmm. knew it was a. Um, you know, they talk about it in code names. Mm-hmm. They, they don't. They don't call it Legion. Yeah. W- when we get the scripts and stuff like that, so I couldn't even look it up. Yeah. Didn't know what it was, but I knew Noah had done it, and I'd, I'd, uh, got like my pages, yeah, my lines, and I and I, which was the first monologue that I do in the first season, and it just seemed really interesting. Yeah, and it's always fun to do that show. Yeah, there's always you know you always go onto the set and there's an amazing set and some crazy idea. Yeah, I, I can't imagine what those sets just look like even without all the effects uh, afterwards. Mm. But but mm. the, well, they're the usually they're very they're very impressive and beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much for for joining us today, and uh, good luck with uh, the U.S. version of what we do in the shadows. Thank you. All right, thanks.